Hey everyone and welcome to a new video on Byte of Geek. Today I'm going to be taking you through how to set up your Home Assistant to back up to a Synology NAS. So let's check it out. So Home Assistant gives you plenty of opportunity to do backups as you go along doing upgrades of the operating system and you know the, the server itself, the add-ons and things like that. But you know, they they only come out every so often, and obviously, you know, if you're tinkering away with Home Assistant, um, then basically you need another way to be able to do regular backups. So this is one reason why you'd probably want to be doing this kind of backup. Uh, I guess the other thing is as well is, you know, as it stands, you know, you've got your Home Assistant installed on a Nook or a Raspberry Pi or something like that. Um, well, that's just on that machine. Everything is backed up onto that machine. So ideally you want to be storing uh, those backups off that machine onto something else. Uh, now, there are ways that you can do this, uh, go and store them in the cloud and things like that. You know, there's plenty of uh, videos on how to do that. Um, but obviously what I'm gonna go through is um, showing you how to put it onto a Synology NAS. Now, you can do this with other NAS units as well, and you could probably also do this with a Windows PC. Effectively, all you're doing is setting up an SMB share on a machine, and um, I'm doing it on the Synology NAS because it's really easy to set that up, as it will be with other NAS units. So before we get going setting up Home Assistant, there's just a couple of things we're gonna have to do on the Synology NAS. And basically that is creating a shared folder and creating a user account uh, for Home Assistant to be able to use. If you still have your guest account enabled on your NAS unit, obviously you could use that. But I think most people probably have that guest account disabled by now. So all we need to do, we go into DSM. Just one thing to check before we go any further, just go into file services and make sure your enable SMB service is enabled. Uh, if it's not, just tick that and click on apply. Um, then what we're going to do is uh, in control panel, um, we're going to go into shared folder and we're going to create a new shared folder. I'm going to call this backups. Um, now really for the purpose of uh, this, uh, there's no real need to change any of the settings through this wizard. So just keep on clicking on the next all the way through and uh, it will then come up and ask you which users you want to give access to. Now, obviously I've not created my user account at the moment, so I can just click on apply on that. And there is my backups uh, shared folder. Uh, so um, then I just need to go into uh, user and group, create myself a new user. And I'm gonna call this HA backup, home assistant backup, to give it a brief description. So I know what the account is for. Uh, give it a password. And then just make sure it is uh, ticked for the users group. And then all we need to do is just tick on the uh, read write permissions for the backups folder. Click on next. Uh, don't need to worry about quota or anything like that. Click on next and that. And then just make sure that allow is uh, is set for uh, SMB and click on next on that. And then for the, uh, the speed limit, just click on next on that and then click on done. And you should then have a HA backup user account in your Synology NAS. So then we just need to go into file station and into backup. So I'm just gonna create a uh, folder within there called home assistant because I may well want to use the backups folder for other stuff as well. So we'll just uh, add that there. And then, uh, you know, if you just check the permissions on that, you should see that uh, HA backup has also got the read write permissions on that as well. So once you've done that, that's fine. You can go off into Home Assistant then. And I've got mine running here and we need to go into settings. Now this is an add on uh, that you can add on to Home Assistant via the, the standard add-on process. You don't need to use hacks for this. So you click on add-ons, uh, but what you're gonna need to do is to uh, click on add-on store in the bottom right-hand corner, and then click on the three dots in the top right-hand corner, and uh, choose the repositories option. 
and uh, you'll then need to put in the uh, URL where you can get this uh, backup uh, add-on from. So you just add that in there and then close and then you should see uh, on your add-on list that you've got Tom's Home Assistant add-ons and it's got Samba backup. So you can then just click on that and it will come up with the, the details of the component uh, that you just installed. Now there's quite a lot of information uh, on this screen already shows you what you need to do to get basic configuration going. Uh, there is a really good documentation page as well that goes into a lot further detail and also there is a forum thread uh, that talks a lot about this and some of the problems that some people had experienced as, as they've gone through this process um, because everybody's setup is different and you may encounter problems yourself. Uh, however, I've already been through this once and um, basically uh, you know, if you just follow the instructions and uh, the, the thing that really caught me out to be fair with this was I um, had special characters in my password for some odd reason uh, this add-on didn't seem to like that it doesn't look like it's parsing them properly so just bear that in mind when you're uh, creating your user account in Home Assistant. So all we need to do is uh, click on install here and then it'll just take a few moments and then it's installed on your system. Now uh, what you'll need to do is go into the configuration tab. So when you're in the configuration you need to put in the IP address of your NAS unit. So I'll just pop mine in now and then we need to give the name of the share. So we call that uh, backups and then the target directory which we called home assistant and then we give it the username that we specified so that was uh, ha backup and then the password um, now I'm just going to leave all these values as is uh, on this um, basically so this is set to uh, keep all local and remote files of all the backups and everything the time that it's going to run for the backup as well um, the, the days that the, the backup is going to run as well. Um, but if you want to change all of that, you can just uh, click, you know, if you don't want it on certain days, you can just um, deselect them by clicking on the X. Uh, you can also exclude add-ons from the backups as well, uh, as well as uh, folders if you want to do that. So obviously, you know, this very much depends upon, um, you know, the, the storage capacity that you've got and how long you want the backups to take as well. Uh, you know, they, they could take quite a while if you're backing up absolutely everything on your system. So you can configure that to your needs. Um, but once you've, you've done that, you can just click on save and then you can go back to the info tab. Now, um, you need to make sure that uh, start on boot is enabled. And uh, I would also um, tick watchdog and then leave auto update uh, deselected as well. Um, when you're done, you can just click on start and uh, just a little bit of action there. You look in the log file and you should have everything green. Uh, now, as I say, if you, if you get any other kind of errors in there, it's usually something to do with credentials or you've gone and specified the wrong share name um, or you haven't got the right permissions for that user account to be able to write to the folder that you've gone and created. So just make sure you follow those instructions and you've set everything up exactly as I've gone through there and uh, you too will have a green banner on the top there and uh, you know if I just refresh on that so um, basically you know that will just run now and that will back up my home assistant install and if I ever need to basically you know do a fresh clean install of home assistant I've got everything backed up then on a separate machine. So there you go guys, that is how to set up Home Assistant to be able to back up onto a Synology NAS. Uh, you know, let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. You know, have you got a NAS unit you're backing up uh, to that um, from, from Home Assistant? Are you backing up onto something else? You know, I'd be really interested to hear how your 
uh, kind of like you know making sure that you're keeping your home assistant install uh, nice and safe just in case something happens um, but you know if you've enjoyed this video then don't forget to hit the like button and um, you know subscribe to the channel if you aren't already uh, for more content like this and other bits and bobs as well so um, but as always uh, thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye for now